Barbados, sustainability. Sparkling water. Sunshine. Love and harmony. Striking a balance between nature and man. Last green fields. Craziness together with a community spirit. Joy and happiness to all. Peace all around. Happy place. God bless all those who come here. I love you, Barbados. The vision for Barbados as a sustainable destination is really around working with the hotels, working with the residents, working with government, and all together as a community make sure that we collaborate together. What makes Barbados so unique is the people. And going into community, you feel like your family. This is a beautiful place, there's so much to do, but all these assets need to be protected. Not just for travelers today, but also for future generations. Climate change is a multi-generational problem that affects everyone differently. I call it our public enemy number one because Barbados is a small island developing state that is at the forefront of the climate crisis. Any action that we can take for the betterment of our environment, we must do it today. When tourists visit Barbados, they have the opportunity to reduce their carbon footprint, participate in beach and ocean cleanups, engage in tree planting exercises, and also reduce their energy and water usage while on island. Eco Skywater is extremely unique in the way that we produce our water, the way that we manufacture and run our facility, and the way that we bottle our water. The way that we make our water is through atmospheric generation. So we are pulling H2O molecules directly through the air. Right around us, all this humidity, we are then putting into a bottle. The manufacturing aspect, we are running off-grid, and the bottling, the way that we do that, is these bottles that may look like plastic, but there's zero plastic in them, there's zero oil in them. This is 100% non-GMO corn and nothing else. And these bottles, I can compost in less than 30 days. We use it in our organic farming, and as you can see from little fragments that are still left over, it just breaks apart. The rest of this bottle has already been fully composted within our soil. EcoSky Water is a new concept and a new product, so we're creating new jobs, which certainly in Barbados, we need jobs. We're empowering these people to have this job that they can feel good about because they're doing something good in the world. Barbados too, as a dive shop itself, obviously we take anyone diving, and just for environmental purposes, we're one of two dive shops in the Caribbean which do coral reef first aid. You come to learn how to take care of coral, how to plant coral, the importance of coral in the environment. My whole family just lives in the water. So my great-grandfather was a fisherman, my grandfather was a fisherman, my dad who was also a fisherman, but mostly he's marine biology. We took the opportunity to teach people about what you're seeing. So we learned why is a coral important? Why do we need the reef? And what you do, you take fragments of what we call staghorn coral and we replant it on the A-frames. And six to 12 months later, you come back and you see the growth. And then you replant that coral back onto the reef. Great day. This is what we want to get our locals involved in doing and tourists come and help us plant those coral. All the coral you saw down there, all that staghorn coral, was planted by tourists and locals that came to dive with us and do the coral first aid course. At Ocean Acres, every day is spent either taking dogs in, caring for, rehabilitating the dogs and cats that we have. There's a lot of people here that don't understand how to look after their dogs and cats. And we want to shine a bit of light on that. We have something called Pause for Breath. This is people doing yoga and mindfulness and some meditation. Whilst the cats watch, join in, people think that we're here to save the cats and dogs, but actually it's the other way around. These cats and dogs are here to save us, and the community's here. They bring us together. So Barbies is one of the few places in the world where the entire land mass was plantationized to plant one crop, sugarcane, which essentially made the soil infertile. 
And what we are doing right now is to try and say, okay, let's plant back the trees that we have lost, the fruit trees that we have lost, the food that we have lost because of monoculture. So we plant back things like ginger, cocoa, turmeric, mangoes, and so on. Tourism, for the most part, is extractive, but tourism can also play a role of being productive and a sustainable sector. And one of the things that we believe in is the idea of volunteer tourism, using both local and foreign visitors to come and help us plant back trees, come and help us plant back food, and have a more involved, community-driven concept of tourism. Barbados is in such a unique position. It's one of the few islands in the Caribbean that had an extensive train line going pretty much over three quarters of the island. It became abandoned, it was falling into disrepair. And so Future Center Trust has born this project, the Barbados Trailway, and we're reclaiming the old train line and repurposing it into a multi-trail community project, cyclists, hikers, runners, they've got a safe space to exercise, to be out in nature. Our intention is along this 24 kilometers to plant 5,000 fruit trees with the idea of offsetting carbon emissions, but also the added benefit, there's free fruit as you're going along. We created a sustainable living team responsible for protecting the environment, the beaches, as well as educating the guests and staff about sustainable living. Now, we have partnered with the Barbados Sea Turtle Project because along the coast of our beach, we do have a lot of nesting sites. The sea turtles are actually an endangered species. Usually when they hatch, if the turtles are left on their own, the sea life can come and eat them, like the crabs, for instance. So we try to rescue them as soon as they hatch. We said to ourselves, well, we have a social responsibility, and that's why we decided to get involved. Local & Co. is about farm to table, sustainability. We are the bridge between the farmers, the fishermen, and the consumers. Today we have the ceviche, and all of the ingredients are fresh and local. The fish was caught yesterday. We're gonna mix our fish with our onions, and then we have our ceviche dressing. So we're gonna just mix it. Our ceviche has sat for a couple of minutes, Really, really perfect. This encapsulates local and coal with one single dish. Sustainability Barbados. Forever paradise. Beautiful people and a sustainable future.